The upcoming generation of NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5000 graphics cards is expected to bring significant performance jumps and technical innovations. Early rumors suggest up to 70% more performance and clock speeds beyond 3 GHz for the flagship model. NVIDIA's next generation of graphics cards could be particularly interesting for VR enthusiasts. The significantly increased computing power and faster graphics, memory promise smoother frame rates, and higher resolutions in virtual reality applications. This could lead to a more immersive VR experience with less motion sickness. According to current rumors, NVIDIA plans to unveil the new RTX 5000 graphics cards in early 2025 at CES. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang is expected to open the show with his own keynote, where the reveal of the new GPU generation is anticipated. The RTX 5090 chip is said to be based on the GB202 graphics, chip and feature 21,760 shader units. In comparison, the current RTX 4090 has 16,384 shaders. The rumored clock speeds are particularly impressive. The base clock is said to be around 2.9 GHz, which would allow for a boost clock of over 3 GHz. The RTX 5090 is expected to come with 32 GB of GDDR7 VRAM, and a 512-bit wide memory interface. The TDP is said to be 500 watts, an increase of 50 watts over the RTX 4090. The RTX 5080 is said to be based on the GB203 chip and feature 10,752 shader units. According to rumors, it will be equipped with 16 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory and a 256-bit memory interface. Interestingly, the GDDR7 memory of the RTX 5080 is said to be clocked slightly faster at 32 gigabits per second than the RTX 5090. The TDP is stated at 400 watts, an increase of 30 watts over the RTX 4080. Experts expect the RTX 5080 to potentially match the performance of the current RTX 4090. This would mean a significant improvement in the price-performance ratio in this segment. The price of the RTX 5080 is expected to be over $1,000. Information on the RTX 5070 is still scarce. It's said to be based on the GB205 chip and features 6,400 shader units. The memory configuration is expected to be 12 GB of GDDR7 with a 192-bit interface. The TDP is stated at 250 watts, an increase of 50 watts over its predecessor. Despite having fewer shaders compared to the RTX 4070 Ti, 7680 shaders, the RTX 5070 could offer significantly better performance thanks to the new architecture and higher clock speeds. The price is expected to be around $600, similar to the introduction of the RTX 4070. It remains to be seen whether 12 gigabytes of memory will be sufficient for future games. While the enormous performance increase sounds impressive, the question arises as to the actual benefit for gamers. The current RTX 4090 already offers more than enough performance in most games. Only in particularly demanding scenarios such as 4K gaming with ray tracing or in virtual reality could the additional reserves of the new generation come into play.